TGIF. I'm Heidi Glaus, and this is Georgie. It's Take Your Dog to Work Day. Now, I must have been under a rock for the last four years because I just discovered Kathy's Kitchen. And the kind of crazy thing is, I came across it thanks to a Grammy award-winning rocker. Her name is over the door. Her travels tossed into a pot, seasoned and beautifully plated to offer diners a different sort of dining experience. It takes you on a trip. It's not your typical menu. Most menus are set up appetizers, entrees, or sides. My menu you order from the different states. Kathy Jenkins and her husband Jerome have gone about the entire restaurant business in a rather unusual way, considering this is her first job outside of her home. I have been a housewife from the time I got married, which would be 27 years in July. Most nights she made dinner, but not just any family dinner. What was unique about Kathy was she made everything look picture perfect. So everything that she cooked looked like you went to a restaurant. We would take pictures every single time she made dinner. So that's our secret to the restaurant is every picture on the wall is items she cooked for dinner at home. So about seven years ago, when she decided to share her talent with more than her kids and husband. Pull pork, how many? They took a two month long road trip and did some delicious research. And they got planned around the Food Channel. And so we said, hey, we wanna go to this place, that place, that place. Let's make a road trip and visit all of these places that the Food Channel is suggesting you should stop and eat. They not only ate, Kathy went back into the kitchens and grilled the chefs. I just asked all the different chefs, what is this? What makes this taste like this? Uh, my gumbo recipe in here is the number one seller. And my gumbo recipe is from Memphis, not New Orleans. Kathy's Kitchen has become a must stop place for rather well known people passing through St. Louis. And we had Harry Belafonte, Danny Glover, Kevin Costner, and Melissa Etheridge. Melissa, she is just so amazing. They're now friends. So the first time she came, I wasn't here. And so she left me a signed album, uh, a few other little things. And so when I came in the restaurant on a Sunday, which is closed, I saw it sitting on the counter. I called the waitress. I said, hey, this CD on my counter, did this lady bring it in herself and sign it? Yeah, I don't know who she was. <laughs> Kathy, of course, did. I, who doesn't know? I mean, she's been nominated 17 times, won two Grammys. She's won an Oscar for a song, you know what I mean, in a movie. Who doesn't know Melissa Etheridge? So she posted a message on Facebook. Say, hey, if anyone is out there that knows Melissa Etheridge, because I know she's born in Missouri, I said, could you please let her know? I'm so sorry I missed her, and I hope we can reconnect. She responded back. I couldn't believe it. And just a few days ago, when she was in town for a show, they met up and went out to dinner. In the back seat of our car. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa Etheridge! Basically, Kathy and Jerome's life has been a trip, one that they want to share. So grab a table and a delicious dish at Kathy's Kitchen in Ferguson. You never know who you'll run into. Kathy's Kitchen is in Ferguson at 250 South Florissant Road. It's open Monday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. You can look over the menu at kathyskitchen.net and then place an order by calling 314-524-9200 or stop by and grab a booth. They are such fun people. Southwest Diner.